you actually rescue somebody from an earthquake, you don't say, well, where were you going? What were you doing? You rescue them. And you ask questions later. And that's what we do. We rescue families. So we decided we'd come back and look for these people locally because so many people wouldn't be able to make their way to these centres. And we started off in December, in around December 2016, with only a handful of families, maybe five, six families. Within a few months, we were up to 20, 30 families. And we're now at, my latest count was yesterday morning, it's 1,111 families. eventually got to the stage where it broke down one day and I th thought no this isn't going to be repaired again it was repaired back on the road again but um, that's where it got Lazarus because it just you just couldn't keep it down it kept rising from the dead so I did have 30 family rescue teams and since Covid kicked in and now with the extra pressure that's on families, there are only about, there, there are less than 10 of those teams left because some of the people who were actually donating now need help themselves. Three or four people on this morning's list um, that are really embarrassed about their situation and they're terrified of anybody seeing me stopping outside their house or knowing that they're getting help and they have always they, they have requested that i call very early in the morning or late at night but at least 75 percent of the families i call to are from working families you know if, if families contact me looking for help it means they're hungry today there's no family going to ring me and say, Ken, we think we'll be hungry next week, or we think we'll be hungry in 10 days' time. If family's contacting me today, it means they need help today. It's, it's, it's either keep the roof over your family's head and not eat properly, or eat properly and have the bank take your, 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 your home. A lot of this stems back from, from, the, um, from the financial crash of, of more than a decade ago. And it's very hidden and people have gotten used to living like this and then when people hear about stuff like this first of all it might come as a shock to them but people get over that shock very easily um, it, they become used to hearing about it then and talking to other people and then it just becomes normal that they know that people are going hungry the shock element disappears very quickly 